Welcome back to Sprague River Homestead. So today we want to kind of give you guys some insight on something we've been talking about off camera a lot. And that's really over the last month of kind of downtime for us where we haven't posted anything. And the honest truth is we're really considering giving up on YouTube. There's a lot of reasons for this. Uh, when we set out on this journey to make videos, part of it was because we saw a lot of stuff on YouTube that didn't really teach um, or was teaching maybe not the right information. So we set out on this kind of to help um, other people get started. We see a lot of homesteaders that get started and fail. And we think this is a pretty cool lifestyle. So we wanted to kind of like, you know, teach people, help people. Um, but, you know, compared to some of the other channels that focus more on their individual stories, um, we certainly don't have the followers that some of the other channels do. Um, you know, and it, it kind of makes it, it kind of, it kind of questions, makes us question why we do it. Um, if you've been to our channel and learned something, hey, that was what we set out to do. Um, you know, but maybe we're starting to, to kind of reach the end of that road a little bit. We've covered a lot of stuff. And by no means do we think we've covered everything there is to know about homesteading. I mean, there's still constant projects and things going on here, but... We feel like we've given you all the, the basics in a lot of things and uh, just trying to decide where to go from here. So one of the things we talked about, and, and it's a difference in personality. I have more of a, I'm an engineer by background, so my time, I have to equate everything in my head. My time is very valuable to me as a resource. With a full-time job, another uh, YouTube channel that takes a lot of my time away and I'll tell you honestly, homesteading is not my pure passion. <laughs> Nikki loves it. She loves the lifestyle and that. I will say out of this relationship, I am the enabler in this. <laughs> That's and I, true. <laughs> and I mean that is I don't a lot of time have ideas, but she will say, hey, I want to go do X. Like I want to go do, let's use a greenhouse, for example. She wanted to go build this greenhouse. And... Yes, there is stuff out there and all that stuff, but in my mind, I'm the one that says, okay, we can do this, but how do we do it as fast, as cheap, and as functional as possible? She likes to, to tinker with it and build it, and, and she enjoys all the process. I'm looking at it going, I can do this in half the time if I do XXX, and it's that way on everything. For the rabbits or anything else, my goal is about cutting down time and time is one of my most valuable resources. And that's why one of the things we do a lot is going back and forth is that one of the things I, I just struggle with is time management because I have so many other things to do. And what we've kind of talked about on this is, I mean, you watch a 10 or 15 minute video um, that we put out. What you don't see is the three hours it probably took us to get to that point. And you may be going, it took you three hours to make a garden bed very seldom in homesteading can you really sit down and work a project all the way through from start to finish. I'll kind of give you an example of that. Last week um, I started my morning canning. I was canning uh, some of that pineapple zucchini I showed in another video and I was working on that by 7 30 or so in my pajamas. Uh, by the time I got that done I was also doing laundry. I started processing rabbits I did a whole bunch of work on the computer for stuff that he needed for his upcoming trip. Um, I sell a lot of rabbits. I'm very involved in the rabbit community. So I'm a board of director member in two national clubs. Um, I'm a treasurer in another, or a secretary in another uh, club. So I am very busy. I have a lot of correspondence. Um, I mentor several youth breeders. So, you know, I stop in the middle of this day to do that. I get back to processing rabbits. We went out later that day and cut wood. On top of that, I had show entries that were due that same day. I had to get some pictures for some prospective buyers. If I had stopped to make a video about processing rabbits, it would have been 10 minutes worth of actual video, but it probably would have taken me three hours to get there. And that's not including the time it takes him to pull out from his schedule to go ahead and edit that video. Probably another reason that we've really considered quitting. There are a lot of people out there that 
we won't name names or call attention to anybody, but there are a lot of people out there that um, are homesteaders that are, um, I, I just got to tell you, if you've got time to put out videos every day or three and four times a week and they're 10, 15, 20, 30 minute long videos, I honestly do not know how you have time to actually homestead. Now, I know that homesteading is different to every person, um, but we a big thing here lately is there is a channel that started a rabbit series about how to raise rabbits that has been raising rabbits for three weeks. And it's very frustrating because they're putting out information that isn't right. And I'm getting people now coming over and trying to argue with me on my channel about raising rabbits. And I have been doing it for, what, six years? Because um, we started with meat rabbits originally. And then I've been doing the pedigree share rabbits for just over four now. So um, it gets frustrating. Again, this is what we started out for is to teach um, and kind of dispel some of the misinformation that's out there. But like we said, we're not a hugely popular channel. And so what that means is some of these channels that are uh, sometimes put out information that really is not correct. And uh, yeah, then we, we get a lot of backlash coming over to us saying, well, that's not right. So-and-so said, well, I won't say I'm an expert in anything. I mean, we're all, everybody does things differently. But there's just some things that are just flat wrong, <laughs> you know. And it gets frustrating. I, we deal with it on the Facebook page, too. Um, I am in a couple of uh, sustainability groups. And there was a guy recently that was really teaching people a lot of unsafe canning methods that were just flat wrong. And uh, he actually ended up getting kicked out of these groups and has, oh, what, eight times the number of followers than we do. <laughs> and, I, you know, I'm sure that sounds petty, but what we're saying is it's really hard to get out there on the Internet and kind of correct some of the culture of misinformation. And so it gets really frustrating. If we're not helping the people we set out to help, then what was the point of spending the time doing it? I always liken it to the 20-year-old life coach. <laughs> 20 years old, you're giving people advice on how to live life. And uh, yeah, I, I think there's, there's just way too many fosteaders. And that's a term I came up with a while ago because of this. There are way too many fosteaders out there that have a gazillion followers that marched along to a drum that I don't even understand. <laughs> I don't even understand. So it's kind of like, you know, we moved out to where we are to really get away from the hustle and bustle and the rat race. And this is like the one one thing that we swim upstream against of the rat race. And the I mean, it's the bully mentality. It really is. There are just a lot of people that that go out of their way to try and bully us or just snow us over with information that's really poorly put out there and wrong that's really dangerous it's um i mean I, I talked about doing a video a while ago and we never put it together but it was like all the wrong things to uh not do based on what i've seen on youtube <laughs> and it was, it was ironic because it was going to be on youtube but at the same time there's just a lot of really bad information out there that it's really hard to overcome. It really is. But it makes you just almost just want to turn it off and be like, you guys, go out there and do all the dangerous stuff you believe in. And when you learn it's wrong, we won't be there to help you when you need it right. And that's not really who we are in the kind of attitude. Because we are, we are at, I think at our heart, we're, we're both kind of teachers. Uh, he used to teach motorcycle safety. If you've seen any of his car videos, everything he does is about teaching. Um, you know, I've been big on that on my rabbit stuff and mentoring kids and all that kind of thing. So um, I guess in the end, what, what we're saying is we're not giving up yet. Um, and if we decide to, we'll let y'all know. But uh, just wanted to kind of let everybody know where we've been for, you know, the last month. Like I said, we were really busy and we are really busy with our fall stuff. But there's been a... Um, I don't, almost a disquiet when it comes to whenever we've mentioned YouTube to each other, like, do we want to continue with this? And so, quite honestly, it got put on the back burner because we weren't sure if we wanted to continue. Um, but we do have, promise, uh, you know, projects that we promised we would show you how to finish up. So we will be doing that. And uh, 
yeah, we'll keep going for a while. Like I said, it, it just gets frustrating. And, uh, you know. It's life. Yeah, it, it is life. It is. But <laughs> there's our whining session for today. That's okay. Our, our complaints. <laughs> yeah, that's it. So with that, I guess we'll wrap it up today. But uh, I don't know. There's just a lot of days that we just don't want to hit that record button and, and do stuff and take the time out to set up a camera and that. It's just, it's a lot easier to go out without makeup on. I guess I don't wear makeup, do I? I don't want to put on eyeliner some days and foundation to really look <laughs> as beautiful as I am. So there are a lot of days that I don't hit record because of that. And believe it or not, I've had some messages from people now kind of commenting on the few days that I have done videos where you know i wash my hair every two days and sometimes it's gross looking it just is but it's a homestead you know so i get up in the morning and maybe i don't jump in the shower because i know i'm about to go out and chainsaw and get filthy and you know there is a definite double standard when it comes to women on the internet i mean you wouldn't think so on a homestead channel but i have had comments like have you ever heard of makeup or um do you ever wash your hair you know, this is this is a, a back to nature kind of life. And if if everybody wants to see me put on fifty pounds of makeup to show you how to butcher out a bird or divide chai plants, I, this is not something we're going to stay doing. It's yeah. that's not who I am, and uh, that's not what I think this lifestyle is about. And nobody wants to see me in yoga pants. Nobody wants to see Kanan in yoga pants. <laughs> well, I might, but nobody else wants That's to. That's not this kind of channel, guys. Get your, <laughs> get your minds out of the gutter. So that's it. We're, we're just kind of we're done with that. I thought I'd bring that up real quick, but there's just a lot of there's a lot of negative reasons of why I did not do this anymore, and a lot of days there's not a lot of positive reasons. So I guess it is what it is. But we'll let you go. Get back to work. Go out there and get some homesteading done. We'll see you next time. Happy homesteading.